Hello and welcome back. This is Sherry with Full Armor of God. And I wanted to let you know that very early this morning at 12.01 a.m. on March the 20th, 2023, I heard in my spirit, it's all a ruse. So I decided to look up the meaning of the word ruse. And it means a wily subterfuge trick, ruse, stratagem, maneuver, artifice, wile, feint, mean and indirect means to gain an end, trick, may imply deception, roguishness, illusion, and either an evil or harmless end, stresses an attempt to mislead by a false impression, And also, I decided to look up the time that I received that phrase. It's all a ruse, and it was 12.01 a.m. So I looked it up in Strong's Concordance, Concordance the, the Greek interpretation. And... It says, the definition is desmoterian, which is a prison. If you look further down, it says a prison, jail. And it gives you some examples in the different versions of the Bible. Imprisoned in the prison, the works in the prison. And sent orders to the prison house for them to be brought. Sent to the prison to have them, to the jail to bring them. And so that also made me think of Acts chapter 12, where Peter was imprisoned. And I'll read that passage for you. It says, Now about that time Herod the king stretched out his hand to harass some from the church. Then he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. And because he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to seize Peter also. Now it was during the days of a unleavened bread. So when he had arrested him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four squads of soldiers to keep him, intending to bring him before the people after Passover. Peter was therefore kept in prison, but constant prayer was offered to God for him by the church. And when Herod was about to bring him out that night, Peter was sleeping bound with two chains between soldiers, and the guards before the door were keeping the prison. Now behold, an angel of the Lord stood by him, and a light shone in the prison, and he struck Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, Arise quickly, and his chains fell off his hands. Then the angel said to him, Gird yourself and tie on your sandals. And so he did. And he said to him, Put on your garment and follow me. So he went out and followed him and did not know that what was done by the angel was real, but thought he was seeing a vision. When they were past the first and second guard posts, they came to the iron gate that leads to the city, which opened to them of its own accord. And they went out and went down one street, and immediately the angel departed from him. And when Peter had come to himself, he said, Now I know for certain that the Lord has sent his angel and has de delivered me from the hand of Herod and from all the expectation of the Jewish people. So it kind of sounds like what's about to happen with what's going on now with the threats of war and the ruse with President 
she visiting over in the Kremlin at, in Russia, in Moscow. So I want to play a clip of a video of that, and then I'm going to end this video. Start then with the two men, Xi Jinping and of course um, Vladimir Putin. Just tell us a little bit more about the relationship between them. Yeah, at a personal level, it's very good. They obviously like each other. They've met each other many times, about 40 odd times since they've both been in power. I mean, Putin's been in power twice as long as Xi Jinping. I mean, he came to power in 1999, Xi Jinping in 2012. But the relationship is reversed between them. Although they get on well, Putin is, was the hard man and nobody quite knew what Xi Jinping stood for when he took over from Hu Jintao in 2012. He removed him. Nobody quite knew what he would be like. And over the years, Xi Jinping's China has got stronger. Russia has got, in a sense, weaker, more aggressive, but weaker. And now, I mean, Putin is now the weaker of the two, for sure. And in a sense, you know, Xi Jinping is now looking after his client and his client's got himself in a terrible mess in this crazy invasion of Ukraine, which is not going very well. So it's straining, I think, their, their personal relationship because pragmatically China has got a lot to lose from this conflict as well as a few things to gain. Now, given their relationship, how far will China go in supplying arms to Russia? But also, what can we make of China's proposal for peace in Ukraine? Yeah, on arms, I don't think the Chinese will make a big play to supply Russia with arms because the cost of doing that would be very great in terms of American sanctions but they already are supplying some arms they're helping North Korean ammunition get there uh, it's said that about 240,000 artillery rounds were sent not long ago they're sending dual use technology components that can be civilian or military so there's a trickle of stuff which the Americans are now are now chasing to try and um, sanction the companies that are doing it um, I don't think that will get, get much greater but it will keep on going I think they'll keep Russia going, certainly with precision munitions or precision uh, components for their weapons. On the peace plan, Xi Jinping wants to be seen as a peacemaker. Now, he presented this 12-point uh, peace plan a couple of weeks ago. Of those 12 points, five of them were actually OK from the West's point of view, from Ukraine's point of view. They would agree to them, I'm sure. Seven points are not, because what the peace plan really says is everything should stay as it is in place, which means Russia gets to keep everything, everything it's conquered. And if the peace plan is accepted in six months' time and Russia's conquered more in six months' time, it gets to keep that as well. So that's not no sort of peace plan that will ever be accepted. But it's there, it's on the table, and I'm, Xi Jinping hopes that at some point in the future, not now, but maybe in six months or a year's time, people will come back to it and say, can you help? Can you do something? And then he will stand forward as the man who has had a peace plan and can actually lean on Putin to stop the fighting. That's the way he'd like to present himself. The man.